So here I have a, a three wire magneto coil starter thing, whatever you want to call them, stator, and I'm gonna I'm gonna show you how I test it uh, with just using uh, continuity. Now there is other ways to test it, and this isn't like a complete test. This is just like a little quick test to get an idea of if it's bad or going bad. Well, you can't really tell if it's going bad, but it'll tell you if it is bad. So this is a new one, a new used one anyway, and this is the old one. Now uh, this piece is, something in here is no good, but I'm going to show you how I tested that to find out. I'm only using continuity to test it. Now these have specs and you have to find out in the manual exactly what the specs are to find out ex the exact um, condition of it, but we're just testing to see if there's any breaks in the wires or anything with these that's wrong so I'll put your your meter on continuity here this one I have sound so I don't have to worry about looking at the screen so I like to test this red and black wire goes to the smaller one here and the other two wires go to this one here one here and one here the other one is ground here which these are two are connected to ground now I'm going to start by showing you something here so you can see if I use it doesn't matter which wire goes which which wire goes where you put it. You can put the black or the red, doesn't matter. It'll still go beep. So if I test it here, you're gonna see it beeps. Testing it. Now if I try that on this other one over here. I try to do this with one hand. You can see no beep. So somewhere inside of this thing. There is a something, da broken wire, damage, I don't know. It could be this ground wire right here that's broken. I'm not sure. Now, the same thing with this one. Uh, I, to test these the, the brown and the black wire, I can't test it on here because they're coated with this material. I have to test it here. So if I, if I put this one in here and test it, and then I put this one on the black one. Oops, kind of hard to get it in there. You can see the voltmeter is changing. So I have a connection there. And when I try it on this one, do the same thing on this one, nothing's happening. So I know this one, if something is broken in here too. There's no connection. And I know something in here is broken. There's no connection. So if I have no connection, I don't even have to worry about what the specs are and if it's reading out of spec because there's no connection. So I know for sure it's bad. Now, if you have connection there, you're going to have to get the manual out and see if it's in within spec to find out if it's if this is your actual problem why you're not getting spark or not. In this case, I mean, you can see this thing's all tore up. But uh, I know this is the problem because there's no there's no power going through it. It's coming in one side but not coming out the other, then I know this thing is is just something's happening here, which I'm probably going to cut this off cuz I want to see what's inside here. Since this is the old one, it doesn't matter. This is a new one, new used one. I'm going to put it in the bike, uh, get it running good, and then I'll probably just replace this with a brand new one. I just got this because I wanted to see if this was the actual problem. And then once I tested everything, I found out that this was actually what, what the problem was, and this was broke. I figured I'd make a little video to show, you know, like, you know, you can test this. This is off a uh, 89YZ125. And it's really common that these go out. There's lots of forums that people complaining there's no spark. And 99% of the time, this is the problem. So something in these was poorly designed or breaks or I don't know what happens, but these go out a lot.